Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So kind of feels like you're getting ready to make a very important decision here. I feel like that's the energy that I've been picking up um, for a little bit now, but it feels that we're getting closer and closer to decision day. You know, it's like there's been this slow buildup of, you know, this energy of getting ready, getting prepared to do something, but it kind of feels like very soon or maybe even, you know, at this moment in your life right now, Gemini, you are you're very prepared, um, which maybe that's the whole point is some of you are still thinking, questioning, wondering, am I ready for this? Can I really do this? Can I, you know, m really make this happen? Is it the right time? Is this the right place? Right behind the two of pentacles at the bottom is the three of wands. So there's a direction, there's a decision, something in your life is expanding, it's changing. Um, some of you are going out of your way, you're going towards a distance in order to do something. And you're asking yourself, can I really do this? Is it is it the time? I feel like the universe wants to confirm and let you know, yes, Gemini, you are ready to do this. This is the time and it's going to happen. So uh, we have the Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Lovers, which is your energy. So I feel like you're coming through very strong in that you're ready um, to, you know, kind of like make up your final decision in your mind, right? So you've been giving this a lot of thought. You've been really thinking through all the scenarios. I feel like with the Ace of Wands, you're getting ready to have the conclusion or the confirmed, you know, decision in your mind. And then all that has to happen is you need to just say it out loud and start making, you know, the moves based off of that decision. So that Knight of Swords is that next step. This is you saying to yourself, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And then these are the steps that you're going to take to do that. With the Eight of Wands, there's also something about you needing maybe some communication, some information, some sort of green light um, in order to feel 100% ready to do something. Whatever it is that you're waiting for in terms of reassurance, confirmation, or information, you're going to be receiving it soon. So it's almost like the universe is saying, all right, Gemini, I'm going to give you the confirmation you were looking for. I'm going to give you the information. Um, I'm going to make it clear for you. You have no other choice now. You have no reason not to take this chance or not to make this decision, right? It's like we can't keep putting this off just because you think you're not prepared. It's time to finally, you know, stand up and do it. So I love this because this to me feels like, you know, a legitimate 100% confirmation of something that you have already decided for yourself um, that has or will have a tremendous impact in your life. So Let's actually go ahead and clarify the lovers. And we have the emperor, which is Aries. Maybe some of you have Aries placements, Aries moon, Aries rising. I feel like with the emperor though, this is proof that you are in the perfect position to make some sort of life-changing determination, right? It's like if there's anyone more perfect than the emperor, to do something with a matter of fact reason, I don't really know if it's, I, it, it's only him, you know, he is the only one. So I feel like right now, this is your time um, to, you know, act in this way, I guess. We have the Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. So this is you, right? You are the King of Swords. Uh, but I feel like with the Emperor, you had to maybe, you know, take some sort of step in order to really believe that or see that within yourself. Uh, maybe there's been a change in your work life, maybe in your home environment that has really given you this feeling of, you know what, I can do this. You know, sometimes different experiences can kind of help us see other areas in our life differently. Like, for example, when you have a really good um, career or a position at work and it's like you're celebrated for being a good leader or having certain skills or being very good at your job, it's like that kind of confidence then transfers over where in your home life, you're now feeling that confidence and you're doing other things. And basically, it just kind of feels like you're becoming almost like a jack of all trades in your mind. You know, you can do all these things, but you're believing that it doesn't just stay at work. You know, you're bringing that confidence home. And so um, I feel like with the Five of Pentacles, this has been a journey. You know, this has taken some time to believe in yourself in this way. You know, maybe some of you were really comfortable being good 
at one thing and not realizing, okay, I can also do good in other things. So I just kind of feel like you're, you're sharing that wealth with yourself, you know, and even, you know, behind the emperor at the bottom of the deck is the devil, which is Capricorn. Capricorn, but to me, it's also the fact that there was definitely some sort of weight um, that you were holding on to that didn't allow you to see yourself in this light for a very long time, whether it be because of, you know, maybe a relationship or other personal reasons. But I feel like right now that is no longer the case. The weight has been lifted and now you're really starting to believe in your potential. All right, let's clarify the eight of wands. And we have the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy. So you're coming through very strongly here, Gemini. I mean, your energy is, you know, all over the place with the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, the Lovers. You know, you're you're showing up for yourself. And I feel like that alone um, is, you know, indicative of where you are at at this time in your life. We have the World card. We have the Seven of Wands and the Four of Wands. So this Four of Wands is, again, more confirmation that you are achieving these things that you want to achieve a lot of you are stepping into a new chapter in your life where there is a new opportunity there's maybe moving right going to different places having to get outside of your comfort zone in order to accomplish certain things but the thing is this is not difficult for you this is fun this is uh, pleasant you know it's like all of these things that would normally be scary um, for maybe other people that haven't quite gotten to this point in their self-love journey for you, it's it's easy, it's fun, it's becoming part of the, the process. And with that Seven of Wands, you're now starting to realize how much it matters to you, right? I feel like sometimes we take life for granted, we take things that we can do in life for granted. You're not there, you're, you're in the manifesting, let me make the most out of my life. You're not taking it for granted, you're doing the opposite. You're living your life to its you know full potential which is not an easy thing to do, but it happens when you are, you know, devoted to your alignment. Um, right behind the magician at the bottom of the deck is the fool, and then it is the high priestess, and then it is the two of cups, and then it is the strength card. So it's a lot of really powerful, positive, beautiful energies coming through. You were strong enough, you took, you know, a chance on yourself, you're being courageous. There's love here, there's self-love, there's maybe love with other people, there's this just this general feeling of being supported, being, um, you know, guided and, and kind of having that faith, right? When we can trust others, we can trust ourselves, vice versa. There is this energy of love that can really uplift us during times of strife. You know, then there's a high priestess. It's like you're listening to your intuition. You're not doubting yourself. You're taking leaps of faith, right? You're trusting the process on your the truth is you're manifesting, right? And it's like, I'm going on this run on run on sentence and I'm having a hard time speaking, but it's like, that's just how powerful all of it is. Um, okay, let's clarify the Ace of Wands. It's like, I'm, I'm nearly losing my breath here, but it's because I know for sure um, that this message is for you. You know, if anything, it's just, I know that you need to hear this because this is your message. It's not for anybody else. So we have the Ace of Cups. To further clarify that ace of wands so it's like your heart and your soul and your mind there's alignment there we also have the page of swords the four of swords and the hanged man so with the hanged man this is pisces energy but it, it is also about breaking through you know that stagnant um things are not changing that it's breaking through a personal plateau that's what i feel like this is um, and I feel like you had to love yourself enough to do that. So even though sometimes hearing about self-love can be cliche, maybe it gets annoying, but at the end of the day, it is necessary. And when you know how to do it right, you start to realize, okay, there's something here. There's something in giving myself the chance. And then, you know, everything that comes from that. With the Page of Swords, I feel like you're discovering something new about yourself. Or maybe what you've discovered about yourself through a self-love journey is what is allowing you to now attract something in your life that is helping you break through a personal plateau. And so with this Four of Swords, there's no longer this need to chase what that is. You've found it already. You can now rest. You can simply enjoy. You can embrace and cherish the moment. You don't have to keep looking for the secret or the, you know, the recipe or the perfect anything you've found it already you you already did that within yourself so really love this for you gemini hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one